prepare to be captivated by the business story of the week, hosted by me, Shaheen Shan. Join us on a journey through the twists and turns of entrepreneurial triumphs and setbacks. Immerse yourself in the narrative and witness the magic that turns dreams into reality. This is Business Story of the Week. All right. Welcome to Business Story of the Week. Today, we've got Justin Franson, uh, founder of athleticism.com, as well as very interesting uh, leeway into some other technology that we're going to talk about today. Justin is an expert on EMF and radiation that comes from your cell phones and mobile devices. Justin, welcome to the show. Hey, Shaheen. Thank you for having me on. Super. Okay. So the show is called Business Story of the Week, and I like to open it by asking you how you got to where you are. Well, I started out as an athlete. And that got injured, didn't make it into collegiate sports, which I wanted to. And uh, so I've always had a passion for human performance, figuring out how to optimize it. And so wanted to help other people achieve that goal. So I started out a Scripps Clinic in La Jolla, working with amateur and professional athletes after you know, graduating from SC and, and uh, close to playing on the tennis team, but I got injured. So Wanted to help other people so they don't do that. They don't uh, miss out on their dreams. And and uh, I felt I could play even at the next level up, but but I had to divert to different sports to keep my competition going because of some injuries. And and uh, so got into working with nerves and then got into working with EMFs because that was the biggest stressor on the nerves. So it's been this uh, really fun journey uh, lots of learning along the way. All right. So let's talk about this. What is an EMF? And by holding this to my head, is it possible that I'm potentially causing myself harm? Yes. You, you're not potentially, you are. And it's a really simple thing. EMFs are electromagnetic fields or frequencies. They can be either native or non-native. So the one thing that's the difference is, is the man-made ones are one directional polarizing waveforms and the others are just uh, the native waveforms. They're, they're how our environment's made. They're waveforms that are unpolarizing. So that's a big difference. One's polarizing, one directional, one's not. So the one question I like to ask everyone is, what is your environment? Mm. So as far as environment goes, do you mean like where I work, where I live? Well, just it's, it's like the question, you know, it, it's a tough question because what is your environment? It, it covers a lot of different things. But the main thing, what I'm alluding to is it's your atmosphere that we're surrounded in. And it could be lands or waters or all these different components to our surroundings, our physical surroundings. But the big thing is our atmosphere. So our atmosphere is our environment. And when we understand the physics and the, the, the fundamental framework of how our environment is made, we can easily understand the difference between uh, the, the man-mades and the non-natives or the native waveforms and how something that's one directional man-made can affect us. Because when you drop a pebble into a pond, Shaheen, does that wave that that creates in the water, does that go and distribute equally in every direction? Like I in a circle? I don't think so. I don't think yes. so. It does. It's a circular okay. effect. Okay. So it's not a one directional line, mm -hmm. right? Okay. That's a framework of a waveform for our entire universe. It's right. a really simple concept. Those are called scalar waves. They're unpolarized waves. All man-made waves are one directional or they don't work. That's why you see panels of cell towers facing every direction because they're a one directional wave that has to reach that area. Got it. Okay. So on Business Story of the Week, we like to bring people different ideas, different concepts, 
the most important thing on this particular show, and 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 I do want to dig deeper with you uh, into this technology. I'm 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 very interested in learning about it. But you came up with a way where, look, you can't avoid the cell phone. You can't avoid the iPad. You can't avoid the computer. It's there, right? And 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 these waves are going through the air, if you like it or not. But you have come up with some technology that you offer through your company that can mitigate some of the effects of this from what I understand from your material. Am I wrong to assume that? No, that's exactly right. Okay. Can you share with me, like you were explaining it to a five-year-old and people laugh at me, but I tell them this all the time. If you dumb it down to explain it to a five-year-old, tell me about your product, how you came about it and what it does. Do you look to the earth to ground when you want to ground something? Sure. Yeah. Well, of course, definitely. Everyone puts grounding rods, ground their electric electricity from their homes into the earth. Everyone looks to the earth's resonance to get grounded. So did I. And so what we want to do is we hand mine crystals and these crystals have the earth's resonance. And it's like walking barefoot in a bag. We bring that grounding effect into your home, your bed, your desk, or your office, or your, your car. And when we can create a coherence and a grounding effect inside, that's, that's the game that we're playing. And, and as much, the more resonance of the earth we can bring in to your home, the more you're going to be able to coexist with ease and stay grounded uh, inside your home, just okay. as you would be walking outside barefoot. So what's the product that I would be buying? So we rolled out emfrocks.com grounding bags and we hand mine crystals. These are the crystals that are inside them. They have moisture wow. with magnetic properties. And the difference between these and shungite or black tourmaline or amethyst or all the other crystals that are called Tesla crystals as well that are known to have magnetic resonances, ours have a moisture content with the magnetic. And that's what makes them exponentially stronger. So when they meet a signal in your home, they're going to counteract that signal. They're going to meet that signal strength to convert that one directional waveform into something that distributes equally that our bodies accept. Okay. So just keep them in your house. You buy a bag of that stuff. It's what's the cost? hundred bucks, 200 bucks. Yeah. So they retail for one thirty nine ninety nine. So it's the most cost effective EMF providing natural protection product on the market. A lot of the other ones I consider are basically GMO products. They're manufacturing a resonance. So do you like to eat GMO food, Shaheen? I don't know, but I, I'm, 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 I'm going to go with what you're saying and say, no, I, I would no. prefer it not to be GMO, I guess. Yeah. Most people don't want to eat genetically modified food. They want food right. that's real. That's from the earth. That's God. Right. That's natural. And that's where your bodies will you know, really resonate with it, be able to utilize it and, and give you more energy from it. Well, it's the same concept when you're talking with EMF protection products. We're not modifying a frequency to overpower the other man-made frequencies. That's a futile effort. We looked to nature because no one does it better than mother nature. Mm. to create that resonance and to create a coherence or a balance between us and the one directional. And you just, have to, and you just have to keep them around. Is that yeah. the idea? Okay. Well, we have certain protocols. So you put one on or under your bed. If it's under, make sure it's touching the leg of the bed. You'll sleep three to 50% deeper. You put five together in your home, they'll clear 2000 square feet. Someone will need seven grounding bags together on the floor of their home if they have solar on their home and if they're driving an electric car you're going to need seven of these behind the driver's seat because nowhere and correct me if i'm wrong Shane, nowhere have i ever read in 25 plus years of being in the health space 
that sitting on a massive battery is good for your health. Yeah. Wow. Uh, okay. So that's fascinating that you came across this product. Now, here's the thing. Um, I haven't read the science on it, so I will go on on your word. I know you've go dug deep into this, and so you have a deep knowledge of this stuff. And I recommend, you know, I'm sure on your website you share science on this, so people can go and and research it before they buy it from you to make sure that you know it will do what they need to do. But I'll tell you a crazy story. So back in the '90s. I had a very high stress life. For you guys who know, I, I started my first company when I was 15. Uh, by the time I was you know, 18, 19, before I was 20, for sure, we'd created over a billion dollars in revenue, probably the most successful, uh, you know, pound for pound, most successful supplement company of all time in the early 90s. And I, I wrote a book on it called Billion, How I Became King of the Throw Pill Cult. Now, I was living in a place in Los Angeles called Topanga. Topanga is this like little hippie community up in the mountains of, of Los Angeles, beautiful, yet natural green. And I would be so stressed out. And I'll, I'll preface it by saying, you know, again, I don't know anything about rocks or crystals or any of this stuff. And honestly, I'm a science-based guy. So, you know, whenever I hear stuff like that, my meter goes up. But our mutual friend, Kelly, who is far more open to alternative science and alternative technology always turns me on to new stuff. And I know he turned me on to you. And I'll tell you, Kelly's been batting 100% so far. All the stuff he sends me, my first reaction is it's woo-woo, forget about it, you know, whatever. And then I try it and it works for me. And I tell myself, there's no science that I've read. I don't know why this, this works, but it does, but okay. So I would go and there was these dudes, I don't know what they were. They were, they were, they were Hare Krishnas or, or some cult thing. And they had a crystal shop there. And this dude, Justin had built this bed, this massive bed, all of crystals. I mean, it was gorgeous. And he would just invite me and he would never take money from me. He would never try to sell me anything. And he'd be like, just go lay on that bed. And I'd spend 10, 15 minutes laying on that bed. And like when I laid on that thing, my anxiety level was like at a nine and a half. And by the time I left after that, after I would, after I would lay on that thing, I was at a zero. I was at a negative. I was feeling so happy. And then I'd be in my car driving back to the office and I'd be like, fuck, man, what happened? How is this possible? I don't know. But just the suspension of disbelief and allowing something to work for me, even though I didn't believe in it, was great. And I remember before the dude closed his shop down, I looked at him after laying on this bed and feeling really great. I said to him, I was like, dude, I got to confess to you. I think it's all bullshit. I don't believe in any of this. And, but it's working for me. Right? It's, <laughs> it's working for me. <clears throat> And he just looked at me and he said, then go with that. And it was so amazing. So I invite people, you know, try out no matter how wacky something seems to you. And I don't know if you agree with me, even if you don't believe it, even if it goes completely against what your belief system is, all you really need is for it to work for you. So absolutely, I'm going to try this. You know, it, again, it goes against my belief system. But that hasn't stopped me in the past from achieving successful results. So I'll put that out. Well, there. So let's get, let's let's get back to you. So when do you decide to turn this into a business? Well, so this is the thing. I, I let me back up a sec here because these are huge points for any business guys. Really, semantics to me is a huge part of it. And when you can really listen to what you're saying and and your body listens to it. People can start to heal. They can start to break through. They'll have better performance. I'm not trying to make however many millions of dollars or billions of dollars. I, I am making it. Like these are powerful words. So even if maybe someone doesn't believe something, like I know that this stuff works. We do have studies that show it. But even beyond that, the fundamental physics is what I explained right out of the gate is when we understand how our universe is made and how our environment is made, it's the most simple concept. 
like literally the most simple concept. Our air is our environment. That's it. And guess what travels through that air? Waves and particles. And guess what the waveforms that the framework of the sunlight and the moonlight and all, the entire universe is made on unpolarized waves that distribute equally in every direction. The sun's not a laser dot. Okay, it's not a one directional beam. And like I use the pool, uh, the analogy of the water. Super simple concepts to grasp. So once we know that, then we understand the truth of how the universe is made. And then we can get past all this stuff. Because as Tom Cowan would say, when you pollute our ocean, the dolphins get sick. When you pollute our air, guess what happened the last three years? Did a lot of people get sick? Yeah, I think. Well, yeah, people, there was like a global like pandemic where a lot of people got sick. Okay. And guess what they rolled out? What'd they roll out? 5G. Ah, all right. So look, that's when we start to figure out. When I started to identify the difference between man-made versus how God made us and, and how the planet and the universe is made, then I said, this is so different. I feel the effects. Even with a corded phone, talking to girlfriend too long, my ear would ache. I'm like, what the heck? This thing's plugged in. It's corded. It's supposed to be good. But I would still hurt. All right. And so when I saw a student athletes break down from wearable technology, the strongest, fittest endurance athlete came in. His whole arm went weak. And I'm like, get that radiation off your wrist without me doing anything, when you remove the stressor off the body, the body just innately heals. So I got rid of the one directional radiation on his wrist, his whole arm healed and got stronger and better, no more pain. That's when I was the aha moment about a decade ago. I'm like, I got to look and figure this out. No one does it better than mother nature. I got to bring her resonance to create that coherence. And now... EMF rocks are the number one natural protection, EMF protection product sold through doctor clinics across the country. Amazing. Okay. Doctor's clinics sell them. Wow. So, all right. So let's, let's bring this all back around. So for somebody who is an entrepreneur, somebody who is an athlete, somebody who is interested in biohacking, is interested in having optimal performance and being in the flow state. Give us, give us one big takeaway as far as what they can do to prevent any disruption to their performance, to their flow. It's simple and it's free. Get grounded by nature because that's your nature. Get outside, go barefoot, touch a tree, get into bodies of water. That is the most simple way to recharge our body battery is to just get outside in that resonance. There's a book Eileen McCusick wrote called Electric Body, Electric Health. She talks about the body being a body battery. You get a negative charge from the earth where we pull the electrons, you get a positive charge from the unpolarized light of the sun. We breathe in minerals from different environments. Hopefully we'll get it from our food and we drink water for conductivity. Simple, how our body works. So just get outside, it's free. And when you can't get outside, use the EMF rocks grounding bags in your home to create that resonance inside. Amazing. And now Justin, I know you have a book uh, and you've got some products. If people wanna engage with you, and get in touch with you, what's the best way? Well, athleticism.com is where we started. So uh, that's the book. It's spelled athleticism.com for those of you who can't spell that well. But uh, that talks about awareness and all the pillars for human performance. You can also check out emfrocks.com and that's where you can pick up our grounding bags or minis for pocket purse on the go protection. And then also the Faraday bags protect you from your phone and the data harvesting that's going on. So some super 
amazing curated health products on athleticism.com and then specifically the EMF products at emfrocks.com. I love that. I love that. And if people want to get a hold of you, they just get you through athleticism.com. If people are interested in working with you, want to hire you as a consultant, because I, I understand you might be willing to do some EMF consulting if, if people need for their companies and whatnot, they just get right. you through athleticism.com. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. We meet our homes and I've done that for a long time. My main practice is working with athletes as well. So I treat concussions uh, and do lots of nerve work for sports performance. But our big thing now is really the answer is going to be get the grounding bags and straight up. And the more you can get in your home, the more resonance you're going to feel. Uh, Dr. Rodney White sleep checked went from deep sleep, went from 45 minutes to hundred minutes for two months straight. Like that's not anecdotal. Uh, Dr. Bear Lando did a waveform test. The grounding bags clinically passively treated 91% of the markers that were off with his patients. You can do pH tests, but you will feel the resonance of this and you'll feel what it feels like to be on vacation, but in your home. And we started selling a ton of products when people got stuck in their home and they realized how unhealthy their homes were and how crappy they felt being inside and being next to EMF all the time. They wanted to be outside. And so Love when it. they couldn't be, they loaded up on the grounding bags and now they can sleep and have better cognitive functioning. There's nothing better than to invest your money in than health. Number one health and personal wellness and well-being. And then secondly, your own personal development. So Justin, thank you so much for being on Business Story of the Week. I'm sure people are going to look you up and get a hold of you from this. And we'll look forward to talking to you again. I, I'd love it to have you on the show again. And, and maybe we can dig a little bit deeper into your business story. Yeah, thanks, Shaheen. Appreciate it. I'm so stoked. Dr. Kelly Carter introduced us and I appreciate your services and and your voice out there. So thank you for having me on. Thanks for having us. All right, so here's the thing. We try to get a little bit better every day, but we can't do it without you. So if you like the video, make sure to like and subscribe below. And if you have any comments, just leave them in the space under.